I'm Corey Hammond from Butte Falls, Oregon. And we moved to Butte Falls in uh, January 1st of 1980. We moved into our home that we built from our own logs out on Open Chain Road. And uh, I homeschooled my kids. And in 2005, the kids were all grown and everything. And the Totem Pole restaurant here came up for sale. And my husband kept insisting that we needed to buy it and keep it open for the locals. And I thought he was joking. We had no experience with the restaurant world because we were so busy with logging and doing mill lumber work and that kind of thing. So anyway, we bought the Sugar Pine on, in December of 2005 and it's been a big learning experience, but it's been a great thing for the town. We've employed numerous people from the town here and high school students and they learn a lot, you know, just working here. And it's a great place for the people to hang out and talk over whatever is bothering them or, you know, the local news for the day. And it's just been a good thing. That's weird, because who has room for a camera? You're packing 100 pounds of equipment. Who's right. got room for a camera? You're right, you're right. That, that's the reason they got a phone instead of a camera. Yeah. yeah. It's very important. We've had you know, numerous uh, catastrophes or whatever in our area here and everybody comes to the Sugar Pine to talk over it, to work through it. Um, we've had fires, you know, uh, flooding to where we open and feed, you know, make sure the people are fed. The fire department, while they're out on a call or whatever, we are here for them. And it's just, it's a great place for that kind of thing, for the people to get together and, you know, know that we're here. Joyce Halica and I both knew, you know, quite a few people that we thought would be good to be interviewed today. And so I either invited them personally or sent out a letter, well, your thing that you emailed me, and uh, invited them that way. And then, you know, Darwin shows up with all of his notebooks and pictures and everything, and it looks like you had a good turnout. But the people were really excited about it, telling about our history and everything that goes on around here. I love how everybody wanted to talk and, yes. you know, tell their stories. Yeah. So. You know, people love to come back to Butte Falls that have lived here in the past, and they have good memories from Butte Falls. Right now, we're actually going through a bit of a iffy time with things around here, but it seems to be everywhere right now. But, um, but we get through it, and yeah. I, I grew up in Eagle Point. And when my husband first moved me up here, I thought I was out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but uh, I started a ladies' home extension group with my mother-in-law, and I started to meet people, and then started to get busy with the church and that kind of thing. And it's just, it's a good place. You know, there's lots of us that are close. We have a little boy right now, Carter Anderson, that lives in town here with a horrible disease called pecan, and so, We've gotten together as a big group and done numerous, you know, fundraisers for him. And just last Christmas, we have a Christmas tree lot out here on our garden next door. And um, the fire department goes out and they cut a bunch of Christmas trees. And then we sell them for donation only. And uh, we took in $1,500 last year. Normally it's $700 right about. But last year people donated $1,500 for Carter. And that's the kind of things we do. Yeah. Lots of those. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's a good place to be. I love my old guys that come in every morning. And you know, if one of them doesn't show up, I'm calling them on the phone trying to figure out where they are and making sure they're okay. 
How does the coffee work? I see everybody makes it themselves. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Some mornings when we're really busy, the morning cook is here for five hours by herself. And so there's one or two guys that'll get up and make the coffee the whole time, you know, and help us out. But yeah, and they have their mugs on the wall. Yes. Yeah. And lots of people, when they come in for the first time, they notice that, you know, the wall of mugs. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Sometimes I'm still surprised they have a restaurant because cooking's not my favorite thing. <laughs> but um, when we bought the place, I wasn't planning on doing much of the cooking, like the grill work. But uh, things happen, and sometimes you just have to do it. So I do breakfast mainly, and I really do enjoy it. I'm only having to open two mornings a week now because I have Kelly, my other cook, which is great. It's a big relief. And so, but I, I really do enjoy being here. Even on days when I don't really have to come in, I still want to come in, you know, for a couple hours and check on everybody and make sure everything's going okay. Um, Tom and Doug, the two guys with the keys, they're here by before five in the morning, before anybody else. And they unlock it and they start the coffee and turn the lights on and the heat, you know, that kind of thing. So before we're even here, yeah. And it's important to them too. Who has room for a camera? You're packing a hundred pounds of equipment.